Radiant team pick. Five seconds remaining. Um, and another roll in. Moose being caught once again, and this yeah. may be first blood. Ball's coming over from Sarko. I don't know if he's going to get there in time. Snowball oh, forward. Nice turn around. up Miracle. Too much damage to the tower. He's so low and he's blood. He actually goes to Karka. Well. At least it's the upside as opposed to like the Bat Rider game where you're like, ah, when am I ever going to get level 2 and then I can start farming this level 2 Iron Shell now up and running. KP will have no trouble whatsoever. Yep. New and mid, getting comes up again, does not have Firefly. He's in trouble. No one probably goes down, the shards fly, but it's a little bit too late there from Kanka. It was busy warding up. At this point, has a line. You'd rather let Cal be the one fighting. He has a lot more kill potential. Level 6 on Spectre than Chuan does on his level 4 Lion. Oh, he misses the Impaler. Yeah, top top lane. Lane. Chuan's in trouble. Yeah. Prophet was going to TB in, but there's no point. Chuan's going to die from the last attack from Fly. Sidestep from Moon to knock it in. Nice it looks low. like they want to find, so the tower will drop. Dark Seer is going to surge in with the Iron Shell over on How jumps forward to Moon. The stun is going to be there, so Moon can't just TP himself out. Kaka might be low. But remember, How is your primary fighter here. Burning down Fly, one attack will not be enough, allowing the Dark Seer Iron Shell to get the last hit. It's still lost here, just using that bit of mobility on Slark as well as Night Stalker to kind of Radiant make it difficult to suspect it by Kill Mythic. Crit! He missed the kick on Karka. He really wanted to go for that one. The boulder away will not be enough with oh, no. the search on Hal. It's a very easy pick off. As uh, Crit. This could just be a Maelstrom. I, I think Maelstrom? the Maelstrom has been like the most popular build for the that we've seen coming out from the Nature Prophet. Rise of Nature, bouncing around. It's because of mid. Karka initiated on. He's got Snowball available, but didn't use it. He allowed the slot to kill him off, no wasting of time. They know that he's around there. So far, OG have done a really good job of keeping away from these ganks, but oh, no as I tell. say that, they're going to free no tell. They're going to special home in for this one. Yep, Chorn does need to burn the ult, in fact, they just let the Batrider Firefly finish the job. Uh, they got a little bit of extra help behind, but they did see there. They, they knew he was near in that area, but they didn't know the exact position because the trees are fogging that camp. Yeah. Lion. Lion's the pick off on the Rubik. Finger of Death being useful from the action, except when you can get a good initiation off to follow it up with a Haunt. If you're newbie, do you want this game to try again? Like, there's a split push on the prop you have to deal with, but you've got a lot of ways to counter that one. Well, goodbye Moon, you're in a lot of trouble inside that jungle. Even with a Spectral Haunt in, and uh, Tusker with the Shards will find the last hit. But yeah, if, do you want this game to the uh, KP? No, at least he's got a slark to call his own. The mech the surge, they now know the Shadow Blade is oh, up. How's dead? How is actually so much trouble. Crit will come in, he'll look for the kick. No tell will come as well. They need to bring a little bit more help here. How? I don't know, he can't survive through this one. Who will come in with the Firefly? He's gonna last him to stop No Tell's TP out. With the Magnetize down, they're still chipping down a lot of life from him. But now No Tell in the middle of the Firefly. He's gonna ride the beach with a kick forward. Moose not gonna get hit by this, so he's still gonna be fun up for the tree. But Karka, he's been chased down by this Night Stalker. Moon's gonna find that pickoff back towards the west side with a flame break on crit. He's actually ticking down just that dot effect of the flame break. It's not enough to kill. Too quickly. Importantly, four stuff now up on Moon. That gives him that extra bit of initiation in some ways. KP wants to search himself forward. There's the snowball. Where's that support coming in from Moon? He was there. Except the fact that Sly, you hear him? Ah, he is dead. Sure of death from Chuan to bait. Buy some time. You just see where How is on the map, just hugging above that TP. Oh, they see Miracle! They can jump in! There is the classical available. They go quickly to the Shadow Dance. Miracle looks like terrible damage. Crip will come in, turns on the Magnetite, but you're gonna kill off the Slark. Crip will follow in a moment. The Silence will wear off, and Nubia are back home to fighting form. They search out forward, but it's KP with the double kill. It's the Iron Shell going to work. No tell, so low KP with the back, and he gives them a triple kill. Now the last two can go on Moon. They double Iron Shell from him. KP doesn't want to stay close towards this Night Stalker. It's too much damage. Surging Parker and four staffing him away. Even the flame break by his face. It's not the greatest fight for Newbie, but it started off the best they possibly could with the early vision game. Yeah. Thanks to detection. Seeing one in out. How dies though, which is kind of the big one. Like, uh, Snowball. Moon is just far enough away. The shards are flying out. But now they go on slice. They actually isolate Moon. Uh, keeping Fly on the back lines. So Moon can't help out his teammate. Nice still like consecutive kills coming out here for Ruby. Yeah. Even if you do lose the Spectre, you're giving more and more power. Like you just gave Dark Sea a crap on a bump. He's got a fresh Midas with his arcane move. Okay, maybe that's not so great. Miracle gets the kill on him. And Miracle. Then it's all about oh, like, it's all about Nubi uh, getting kill after kill. And then moving on from the target. Uh, OG is the one to initiate. Oh, Rage goes to Snowball, finds a little bit of space. Now the Magnetite. How's gonna die? I think he knows 
as well. Even with the one charge he gets back up to rating and fight seven HP. How will survive? They break down two. Miracle's gonna drop as well. The five fly is all over this field. Hoji thought they were the ones in control with that early silver edge. They thought they could jump off and kill off the sector, but now they're gonna get team wiped. Moon the flame break actually pushes him away. How's on the trail? But do they have enough damage? Chorn's trying to keep up with it. Moon's still ticking down. The sticky napalm's gonna wear off. How's attack is not enough anymore. The sticky napalm, that's ah, another one. They need the dagger to end. It's just not gonna happen, and there she is, the silence. Hal just keeps diving. He's like dispersion. Too far? Dispersion. Maybe a little bit too far. Moon waits. How? He dreams it! He's around the corner! Moon will shut him down, however, and now Rhythmic's gonna play. The Firefly is still up with a pick over on Sly. Hal goes too deep. Moon may not be getting out this one safely either. Cuts through the tree line. Crit is burning down a little bit too much for this one. And Moon, okay, he actually gets killed off by the tower of all things. Oh, he, he, blinked, he blinked, he blinked, he blinked, he blinked to the north Wait. and they found him. He did? Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sigil. The dark map for OG, not a single ward up right now. Are they gonna look for the middle lane? Already Miracle just using his dark pack to farm up. Finger of death, Blast will be committed. Snowball as well. They can find this one. One minute on the sidelines to get the essence shift up. So they want the long drawn out fights, but they haven't got the tankiest They find one, they that. find Kaka. They'll pick him up, the silence is there. And Kaka, he should go down now. The silence is going to wear off in a bit. He's going to freeze, but it is a little bit too long. That's okay for newbie if it's just a tough fight. This is not a hero that you can get a lot of value out, out of moving forward, so. Newbie. Moon needs to go to Firefly, they'll see with the special haunt where Miracle's jumping. He goes quickly into the Shadow Chance. JP is gonna pull him back and they just keep following that little off of smoke. And then they find Miracle again. They know the flame break is coming with the Walrus Punch. He's coming around quick. Try to break more space with Big Rush from Chuan. Help the break free. The BKP from No Tell is also being expended. And look at how! This is the effect. Why does that run away? How is very, very low. And they just probably will find the kill. The Dark Sea Wall is down. They're gonna have to burst damage. And this Lightning Shield is actually causing a lot of problems for Nubi. Until now, they can throw ball back in again. No tail finish the job. No tail just stands his ground. Sean has to finish the job. He's actually almost going to fall for this. Down at 9 HP, KT will fall as well. They don't have enough. Moon is on the front lines. He's chasing oh. Moon once more. Blink, and break. now, well, where is that Radiant sticky name up? They chase him. There's your flame break. Moon, what have you got? You turn for a void, but now the body block is not really there. You got phase boost, but still, Batrider will find the kill. Moon will get a little bit more, but that KB, which yeah. means over time, that BKB gets shorter and shorter, and he's going to become a lot more susceptible to the line disabled for us, the Batrider, and also the Frick will find some pick off, get, get picked off, and. Renubi is very much reassess the situation and make sure the special horn. It gives a lot of information as well. No one's actually going to go down to this by the looking. We just keep our eyes over on the pit. And there it is. Take a C more to Lover on how. Uses the end of the special dagger. Oh, finds a target. It's going to be. <laughs> KP. Careful with your items, bro. <laughs> Reef, he dropped the eyes. Believe it was. Uh, Kaka in a little bit of trouble. The Reef's going to be triggered. A three man back. He can't get a full follow up. Thanks to the kick from Crit. And now in comes Crit. Who do you want to last him on? The Finger of Death already managed to kill off Crit. And he lasts over on Notel. So you see the switch of priorities here from Newbie. KP throws down the wall, but Notel sends from it. Now, how? Realize the damage is there because the rest of OG packed up. Moose dying up these tier 2 towers. And you're going to lose a little bit more. Miracle trying to fight. Can't do enough. It's a triple kill for Hal. And they may find more. Lies on the run, but. Just a poor little Rubik. The Degemma Truisides, we know the Glimmer Cape won't really save him from this. Fable is off, he's back and back in. There's your son, there's your punch. And Tuskar will take the kill. Our full team wipe. Guys, let's push. This is the most damage we've had all game. <laughs> oh, no tail. Oh, he's really careful about this. You can see it being torn up. He's TPing out. The special horn reveals him. But it's the last move. They found him. They found the fish to stand to OG. And they destroyed it. One minute without that. You burnt the spectral on the, the spectral horn. So that won't be available. But OG, they may not care that much. They're still grouped up. They've still got Aegis the Immortal. And there's your jump. Move. Find initiation over on fly. Rubik will go down, but really at this point, as far as heroes go, seconds left on it. Okay, so you do a lot of chip damage to the tier 3 tower. And now, oh, God, oh, 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 oh,
back last turn, gonna break free, goes directly to the BKB. All the BKBs from OG have been committed. All the deaths have gone now for last to go for a miracle. They wanna bring down this fight. The special one will cause a lot of chaos, especially on the back lines there for free as well as fly. But they still haven't got themselves another kill yet. In fact, it's KP and Kaka in trouble with the magnetized from Crit. He does so much work, he's probably gonna kill Kaka on the back lines. In fact, it's Zotel Threats of Nature bouncing through. Huge amounts of damage coming in from OG. They try and push Moose Batrider away, but it's just not enough. Well, the only one that's survived is actually how. I don't know. Uh, I mean, at that point, Dark, you're gonna find a target. Miracle is so nearby. The gem of true side is over on Moose. They reveal Miracle and he just used Dark Bank and count in the middle of Moose. This should be a very, very simple kill. Dead for 84 seconds. A little bit of spectral horn damage. Fly is all out from OG. They're attacking the town hall, which is a full light. That top tier three tower is the one which is more injured. And No Tail's already going to try force TPs out top. He's split pushing. Oh, oh, remember what happened last time? They tried something like this. Nubi, Moon, try, they try and protect it there with a the Lotus Storm. With the Firefly on top of him. Moon's going to go down. So two seconds. He has to buy back instantly. Blind's going to join him. And this tier three tower on the top lane as well as the mid lane is under siege. No Tail just keeps hammering away. And Nubi, remember game one. Remember the memories. Tarka's going to get picked off. This time around, though, Nubi not losing heroes when they go close to Moon. He's gonna deliver the defuser blade and now, yeah, hello. Fine, missed four stuff. There's your special horn. And who are they gonna get? It's gonna be Moon. Quick, easy, efficient. You have no telling something from behind yet. He knocked out Moon inside the sprout. Moon will go down now. Your BKB trying to take up the magnetized miracle with that. One attack will do the work. There's your buyback. Looking to come back to the front lines. The TP will have to happen. Moo as well. Nubi are committing their money oh, behind these kills. Fly, no, Flame Break will stop the TP away. A triple kill coming in from Hal. Spiderback did come. Like, I, I suppose that like, you still want to have a Spectre being your front row tank. You could consider Moo because he just used the buyback. I think Spectre is enough. It's so good. He can just. He's the high ground seizure. As much as Spectre has a big time to him to also step up and silence his critics. He's gone back to what worked in game one. No boots. Who needs boots? He won game one without boots on his life, so he'll win game two without boots. I like how he holds Midas over boots as well. <laughs> hey, you're an agent. Oh, you got fleet. You got TP. That's, that's the ultimate holla holla get dollar. But now the tier three tower's gonna drop the top lane, not pushing in hard enough. And it looks like OG, uh, okay, now no tell he's gonna TP back. But daytime timing, when you wanna push high ground during day, there is darkness available, but they can always disengage should Moon pop that ultimate. I promise I don't wanna go on how. I guess an ache is spec. And it's also a spec to... Oh. If they lose the fight, no tell then TP top, and suddenly you're losing a lane of rack. So you have to make sure you win. Yeah. Okay, here's the jump. Kaka. No tell. BKB up. Who's looking for the last two? The Lotus Orb is there, so they both can chain themselves together as Miracle. He finds the back line on the Kaka as well as on KP. But where's his damage? You've already lost no tell once, but the kick comes forward and catches out two, allowing the attack to come in. Zuby, they're gonna go on a rampage here in the more. Ow, what's gonna do more and more damage? He still got Aegis the Immortal, however. So even if they kill him, he goes through fly. How's your triple kill? How will have an ultra kill? He'll go with the tree lines. The Sprout is there. They know he's gonna spawn up. Miracle's only stolen seven essence this entire fight. And now Hal wants to go for four. The they're actually having a hard time fighting up the sigil as well with the flame break. They got a little bit more space here. Miracle tries to run the move. Keeps the vision with him. And now the red combo is here. Moo is low. Miracle can't reach him. It's a double red bait. Here for Hal. OG will be one with. He reached four. They had the hex on no tail, but he just couldn't find the real with the Manta style and held onto the hex for too long. Oh, it's looks how I could actually. I oh, wait. Uh, yeah, maybe that's not what he wants to do. He's, he's while he's stunned, he's switching his arms around and out of jump. Boom! He finds fly. They don't want to protect this one this time around. Fly gets punched into oblivion. Oh well. Uh, yep. Five back force out by miracle. Bottom right being attacked. The newbie. Like they're just staring at the barrel of setting this into a third decided game. OG was the team that ended their streak. Schwann called it out. He wanted to fight up against OG. He wanted to have a chance for revenge. And now the power of the initiation. The by Miracle. They need this side back. The snowfall dragging Miracle into an unfortunate position for him. He has to burn the PK Beaver out. Looking over towards Moon. Remember, he's still so tanky. Moon the front lines. The flame rate bounces back in from AP to get two minutes back. The shards are up. Blocking to him outside the pit. You can say goodbye to the Earth Spirit. Miracle as well as Moon do get back into safety. But the bottom rack will also be toast. Five heroes from Ruby. They're currently pitching a flag and claiming the OG base as their own. They've got to make their last stand with no tail respawn. They'll have a 4v5 situation, but it's going to be incredibly difficult. 
Newbie of everything they went into. GG. Newbie bounced back, fourth at game three. And these teams won the first season. Like, Newbie wants to go to again. I'm happy to see them again because not just they win the bracket to be fun, but we're going to get another full best of three. A fantastic game from these two teams. They're so evenly matching. Um, the kill score does not tell the whole picture here. OG. We're so close this game. They got the racks. They, they, they almost get the racks advantage with the, this push from No-Tell. He played such a good nature's profit. He did so much damage throughout the game, but... I just, don't, I just don't know how you battle against the Spectre at that point, because you still had a three Spectre. That was a hilarious thing. And Spectre realized, wait, I'm not going to die. I better use my Spectral Haunt now in the fight.